And Israel, I want you to see the point here. I want you to see that this the thematic thread is, is interwoven throughout this entire narrative. You've got Israel, 400 years in Egyptian captivity, and they stay there until they ask to come out. Read the narrative. They stay right there until they ask to come out. Text says that they begin to cry out to God for deliverance. So they have a problem. They talk to God. But the text says God starts talking to a man named Moses. They have a problem. They talk to God. God starts talking to Moses. They have a problem. They talk to God. God starts talking to Moses. They have a problem. They talk to God. God starts talking to Moses. They have a problem. They talk to God. God starts talking to Moses. Now that's a problem because I'm assuming if I have a problem and I talk to God, I want God to talk to me. Israel is sitting in a season feeling unheard, feeling abandoned, feeling neglected, having no idea that God's trying to convince the answer to accept the assignment. Just because God is not talking to me about the problem doesn't mean God's not working on the answer. And Israel had no idea that help was on the way. But all of a sudden, unbeknownst to them, Moses just showed up without announcement. And that's the way God can work in our lives. We can feel abandoned and unheard. And without warning, Moses shows up.